student welcome to mixed study official youtube channel in this video we are going to see about moil exam strategy last seven days how you can approach the questions paper and what was the strategy and how much portion you need to revise before going to examination so all these things we will discuss in this video so you need to stay at the end of the video and if you have any query do mention in comment box if you want one to one interaction do join our telegram channel the link of telegram channel is given in a description box so let's begin with the videos So as you are aware of that MOIL exam has already in, already have been scheduled on 25th of November and most of the student having issue with the center and few of the student is also not well prepared uh, as of now so that's why I have received too many comments to how to prepare for that particular examinations because they do not release any official syllabus as of now so for those candidate who is already prepared some other examination you need to revise few of the important most important topic before going to examination before that I'll just syllabus copies where they will provide a number of questions in that they will provide the general knowledge as well as using 20 question which having 20 marks similarly for the general English having 10 question having a 10 marks and for the subject knowledge as per your domain having 55 question there are total 85 questions are there for the 85 marks and total duration was 90 minutes and in that you need to attempt only 85 questions so what you need to do if you have already aware of the general knowledge then you must go with the revise with the current things which is going in recent days else you need to skip it at all because you left to wait only seven days and apart from the general knowledge you have a basic reasoning which is uh, applicable for the sscj and other psu examinations this these reasoning are very easy you need to just uh, revise within two to three hours you will able to solve all the questions uh, going ahead with the english you know about the basic ideas about the english error like prepositions and as well as reading comprehension these things are happening in all the examinations with the preposition you need to learn with the error detection as well because most of the time the question is coming from the error detection along with the synonyms and antonyms is also coming but uh, it's uh, totally depend on your word power how much you are able to absorb till now so most of the thing you need to at least if you have idea then go to go through it otherwise you need to have uh, basic things like error detection prepositions as well as word uh, different types of word like synonyms and endonyms all these things just go through with the PYQ which is applicable for the PSU examination you need to make sure that you need to cover at least reasoning for the general knowledge along with the reasoning you need to brush up with the reasoning general knowledge with the current things and for the English mainly focus with the words uh, error detection and prepositions that's all for this English portion so going ahead with the domain knowledge so you have at least your uh, particular domain which examination we need to appear I, I'll mostly discuss with the mechanical so for the mechanical if you have already prepared for any of the PSU examination most of the important topic like production industrial SOM TOM fluid mechanics thermodynamics heat transfer as well as machine design at least these topics you need to cover at which I have mentioned you need to at least revise all the formula and along with that you need to cover at least PYQ or PSU examination for the thermodynamic I have already started this series if you haven't watched at least watch that type of question which is coming for this examination I have also predicted for the HPCL similarly for the oil India most of the questions are coming with the same pattern if you haven't uh, having idea about these things so at least go through and watch the samples question which is coming for this examination and other than that do not learn too many things in last seven days because if you try to learn new thing you do not uh, cap up with that thing and at the end you will forget the whole thing which you have already studied in uh, recent days so that's all for this video because i have received a comment that's why i need to make this video also one more thing for the qualifying marks for the next round you need to have a 50 percent in each segment like non-technical and technical at least you need to score with the general awareness along with the english at least 50 percent and for the similarly for the domain you need to have a with the 50 percent so so at least you need to revise with the general knowledge basic which is happening in recent days along with that you need to go with the revisioni, uh, reasoning which is takes not more than four to five hours maximum you can uh, uh, devote for the four to five hours and after that you need to learn the english you need to most for four most important topic like error detection preposition and as well as reading comprehension which is very easy as well as synonyms and antonyms which is coming for almost all the examinations apart from that for the technical i have already informed these important topics which is coming for the psu examination you need to go through on the priority basis based on that for the sample i have already mentioned the thermodynamic you can also watch that type of video because most of the questions are similarly 
uh, happening in the case of uh, oil india examination so that's all for this video because i have received uh, too many comments so that's why i need to make the short video of it and if you need any other doubt do mention in comment box if you like our videos definitely subscribe to our channel so 